There's a treasure worth $50 billion buried throughout a hundred islands. And I want it. Cause who doesn't want all that booty? Not that booty. Okay, but seriously, I have a plan. You see, there's an entire dedicated community to something called magnet fishing, where people literally throw a magnet attached to rope and water and find things like money, live grenades, and rockets. The only problem, that treasure is in the Philippines. So I'm flying 9,000 miles just to do this. Less than a mile down, a hundred more to go. This might take a while. On mile two, I found nothing. And the same for miles three and four. But what I found during mile five made up for everything. A fork. Arr. I'm not actually gonna use it. That'd be disgusting. Use it to you like coconut or something else. Mile seven, I had a little accident. Years. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, the salt water is burning my eyes. Uh, Around mile 10, I thought my magnet was starting to fall apart, which is kind of awkward because I have like 90 more miles left, though that's not good. But luckily, I was wrong because what I thought were pieces of my magnet falling off was actually magnetic minerals. I have no idea what they are, but they're worth. It's over $1,000, so this is a good start. I magnet fished another six or seven miles that day and didn't find a thing, which I guess people found funny. It's not. It's, it's not funny. I'm joking, I'm joking, okay, I'm not actually upset I didn't find anything for a few hours. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna get an early start, cause you know what they say, the early magnet fisher attracts the treasure, get it? Cause you know, I said attract, cause like, it's a magnet. Good morning. So many dogs out on the beach in the morning, I don't know why. Anyways, mile 23, I discovered a giant jawbreaker. I am today years old when I found out people actually use them as fishing bait. How odd. On mile 24, I almost stepped on Patrick, like from SpongeBob. And then on mile 26, I witnessed a drive-by. Oh my god! What the? Oh, they're just playing. Hi, dog. Hi. Mile 28, I found the entrance to a secret lair, which I thought was crazy, but my suntan was crazy. <gasps> The rest of the morning was pretty uneventful, but I did run into an old friend who had some words of advice. If you want to find your treasure, go to the island that they call El Nido, which is where you'll meet someone special. Bad news, y'all. There are other treasure hunters here. One, two, freaking like 15. They're all looking for treasure, but I will come out on top. Mile 31, I tried fishing from a boat, which didn't last long because my magnet immediately got stuck and it wasn't getting unstuck. But that's when the unexpected happened. A fully clothed man swam from out of nowhere and said this. Was this who dog said I meet? Okay, who am I kidding? I know who that is. I just wanted to be slightly dramatic. But anyways, that's Calvin, my tour guide, my part-time treasure hunting partner and new friend. Calvin and I spent the rest of the day exploring El Nido for treasure. We stopped at this lagoon with some of the clearest water I've ever seen, fed some fish, and stopped at this beach. Which is when I asked the question I've been wondering this whole journey. Is it just me or are magnets really attractive? Get it? <laughs> okay, but seriously. What are my chances of finding treasure here on the beach? Actually, you can find a gold here. I'm sorry, but did Calvin just casually point as to where I can find treasure or did I mishear him? Where do we go? Lose the wedding ring. Or wedding ring? Yes, the wedding ring. Okay. So you can find it like in the middle part of the <laughs> Hopefully. That will be great. I was so excited in this moment that I illustrated it with memes. Bruh. And with my newfound hope, I scoured that beach like there was no tomorrow. Future me here, sorry to interrupt, but magnificent me doesn't know that I never find that wedding ring, but I do find something else. Bruh. We're closing in on mile 50, and to be honest, my confidence in finding this treasure is low. Nothing. So it's time to begin phase two of this challenge, which I'm calling Phase Dose. Don't judge me, I couldn't think of anything else. Tomorrow I'm taking a plane to a new island named Barakai. This is also Barakai, where I'll be searching the deep depths of the ocean by helmet diving, which, by the way, looks straight up scary. Plus, what if I'm attacked by a shark? Like, what do I do? It also doesn't help that the waiver I signed says that death is a possibility. On the bright side, there was a treasure chest at the front entrance, which must be a sign I'm on the right path. Right? Straight down. Go down? Yeah. I'm not 
scared. <laughs> I can't talk underwater, so I'll just narrate what I'd be saying. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all those fish in that shark. Shark? Oh, it's, it's just a shark statue. Did that just make me the first person to be pranked underwater? <laughs> Not much room. And the helmet, so I'm working with what I got. All I'm finding are a bunch of fish that look like they're from Nemo. And uh, a bunch of like statues and stones. But treasure? Not. I can't have it found it. Are we trying? <laughs> uh, I'm being pulled away by the scooter. Phase dose was over. I have 10 miles left and today is also my last day on Barakai. I've been here for four days. Helmet fishing was three days ago. You know, a majority of this journey was pretty lonely and right now I wish someone was here to complete these last miles with me. I wonder what Calvin's doing. If he was here, he'd probably point out to the beach and say something like, there's a treasure hidden in every moment. The joy of life is finding it. Whatever that means. You are about to witness my final miles of this challenge. Mile 92, I stumbled upon these cute hermit crabs. Mile 95, I found this creepy cave. I'm still questioning myself as to why I decided to explore it. Anyways, I discovered what I imagined an alien egg would look like if aliens were real. Bruh. You know, as I finished these 100 miles, I came to the realization that not all treasure has to be silver or gold. I'm pretty sure that's literally a quote from Pirates of the Caribbean, but it... It fits. Um, treasure can be a friend, a dog, this fork, fork which is pretty relieving because now I can relax and treasure all of this.